Hello students, in this part of the video, we will be moving on towards the second case, the case 2 data or simple frequency distribution data for mean deviation about mean and median. So the example is calculate mean deviation from mean and from median for the following for the given data and verify that mean deviation about median is less than the value of mean deviation about mean. So here's the data which is a simple frequency distribution data that is to each observation there is corresponding frequency written okay so we need to find out mean deviation about mean and mean deviation about median for this data now the first step is that we need to find out mean value and median value from that data so first we compute mean and median now in order to find out mean value what is the formula that is x bar equals to summation fx divided by sum of f now in this table what i have done is that i have calculated fx which is 2 times 3 is 6 4 times 9 is 36 6 times 5 is 30 8 times 2 is 16 10 times 1 is 10 add all those values which gives you a sum of 98 divided by summation f which is 20 so 98 divided by 20 is equals to 4.9 and for median we need to find out median value so the formula will be summation f plus 1 divided by n th value now that value needs to be searched in the cf column so already i have made a cf column here cumulative frequency less than column so after just place using this formula which is 20 plus 1 divided by 2 we look at that particular value in this table and find out value which is 10.5th value and 10.5th value basically lies in this class so the median value is 4 okay so as you know that in order to find out mean deviation about mean and median we need to find out mean value and median value first to find out mean it is very easy the formula is summation fx divided by sum of f for median the, va the formula is summation f plus 1 divided by 2 th value you need to find out the position first and then that position needs, needs to be searched in the cf column so there is my cf column we will be searching this value in this column and since this value 10 and 11 both lies in this column this class so corresponding to this value our observation is 4 so median value is given as 4 the next step is to find out x minus mean and x minus median here is the column so as you know the mean value was 4.9 and median value is 4 so first of all we'll take the absolute value of x minus 4.9 all right so this is my mean value and this is x x is 2 so 2 minus 4.9 now this is basically mean value 2 minus 4.9 gives us 2.9 4 minus 4.9 gives us 0.9 now since these are absolute values so all the negative values which are appearing will be positive um afterwards okay so because we are using these absolute values directly so all the negative values will be turned into positive values we are not adding a separate column for it we are just doing it directly by using the absolute value column which is this okay so 4 minus 4.9 gives us 0.9 since there is our absolute value so minus 0.9 turns into positive 0 0.9 6 minus 4.9 1.1 8 minus 4.9 3.1 10 minus 4.9 5.1 now the values starting from this point till this 6 to 10 are all positive so absolute will be positive the first two values are negative and because of the absolute operator it turned into positive the next step is since the frequency the formula actually was mean deviation about mean was summation f into x minus mean divided by sum of f now as i was saying that this is my x minus 4.9 absolute values all right now i'm going to multiply these two values all right 2.9 multiplied by 3 the column is f multiplied by absolute of x minus 4.9 values so absolute values of x minus 4.9 is the are these values okay now what we are going to do is we're going to multiply it with its corresponding frequencies so 3 multiplied by 2.9 gives us 8.7 9 multiplied by 0.9 gives us 8.1 5 multiplied by 1.1 is 5.5 
2 multiplied by 3.1 is 6.2 and 1 multiplied by 5.1 is 5.1. The same goes with median as well since we have already calculated median as 4. So the absolute of x minus median is 2 minus 4. 2 minus 4 is minus 2 because of the absolute value it turned out in positive value as positive value 4 minus 4 will be 0 6 minus 4 2 8 minus 4 4 and 10 minus 4 gives us 6 the next step is to find out f into x minus 4 of abs absolute values right so 2 that is 3 multiplied by 2 is 6 9 multiplied by 0 is 0 5 multiplied by 2 is 10 2 multiplied by 4 is 8 1 multiplied by 6 is 6 the next is that we're going to add these values for mean and for median that is 8.7 8.1 5.5 6.2 5.1 the sum of all these values is 33.6 and the sum for all these values is 60 the next step is we need to place it in the formula so after formulation since this is my formula after calculating all the values this is the result I got that is 33.6 divided by 20 which gives us 1.68 and for median this is 30 divided by 20 which gives us, gives us 1.50 which concludes that mean deviation about median is less than mean deviation about mean. See, when we talk about mean and medians, medians are those values which are always central values. Okay, if you're talking about three central tendency values which is mean, median, mod, so median will always lie between mean and mod. Alright, so it can never be the case that median is greater than mean all right or median is greater than mod median value will always lie between mean and median so that value you can say that median value will be the mid value of mean and mod i hope that you have understood uh, that how it is done and how we calculate mean deviation about mean and mean deviation about median for simple frequency distribution case thank you so much